watch and pray. I mean, you, if you look at what we've been discussing, you, if you've understood what marriage is, um, you under, if understood the, the, the communication, uh, agape love, an application of uh, application of knowledge, and you understand. I mean, your relationship with God, like, and also we also talk about just just now, <clears throat> we talk about forgiveness. Uh, you can do all this stuff. But the also the only one thing we also need to do, watch and pray. This is so important. Watch and pray. Bible says something in the book of Matthew, Matthew 26, verse 41. It said, keep actively watching and praying that you may not come into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Is it sometimes you've done every other point that we discussed, but the devil hasn't really given up yet. Is still looking for ways to tempt you. That is why the Bible knows that it's so important to watch and pray. It didn't say alone, pray. But it said, watch at the same time. Pray. Because this thing goes along together. You can't say, because I'm praying, I don't need to worry. No, no. God wants you to, to be careful. God wants you to stay alert. <laughs> it's always, there's something I use, I, I'll call it a, your spiritual antenna. You see, and he says something in the, um, in the first Peter chapter 8, verse 8 to 9. He said, be sober, wear balanced, and self-discipline. He said, be alert and conscious at all times that enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. He said, the devil is looking for ways to devour, to destroy your marriage. So prayer alone will not help you. But at the same time, you need to watch and pray. You need to watch. You need to, see, you need to kind of turn on your spiritual antenna. Uh, for me, I'm always looking for a way in my own marriage. I'm always looking for a way the devil wants to come in. I just refuse to give place to, give place to the devil. Because the moment you give place to the devil, before you know it, the moment the devil comes in, Man, things that are supposed to be, you see, you've been building for so long. You've been building for years. The joy, the peace, all of a sudden, just like that, the devil can destroy the whole thing. That is why the Bible says, give no place to the devil. Ah, you, are you not going to give no place to the devil? It's if we are not watching, if you are not being careful, if you are not cautious, if you are not alert, if you are not watching, how are you not going to give place to the devil? See, God wanted to be alert. God wanted to be careful. And he wanted to watch at the same time. Pray. See, a prayerful family produces a stronger bond in the family. Because temptation won't have any place in the marriage. See, you pray together at the same time you are watching. So you commit to see, the, the prayer become the, the priority in your marriage. At the same time, you are watching together. I said, devil has no place. He gives no place to the devil at all. So whenever the devil see you pray and watching at the same time, the devil flee from that. You see, because God become the center of your marriage. So you have to watch and pray. You must have done everything. Bible says, I haven't done everything. He says, stand therefore. <laughs> you still need to keep standing by watching and pray. And finally, can I just encourage you? Address any issue quickly and give no place to the devil. The moment anything happens in your marriage, misunderstanding, you know, disagreement, you need to address this thing quickly. The moment you live it longer and longer, so you are not watching anymore. So you are not watching them. And guess what? If you have misunderstanding in your marriage that it's, just not, it's not been dealt with in your marriage, you can't even have time to pray. See, the desire to pray is no longer there. Eh, because uh, you want to feel like, oh, things are not even right here. See, but the moment you dealt with that, you are back in the presence of God. See, this is so important. But the moment you, re re you resolve that as quick, as quick as possible, guess what? You are watching and praying. But if you are delaying that, you are not watching. See, even though your personal relationship with God is already shaking because you are not even willing to pray anymore because of a misunderstanding, because of a disagreement that is happening between you and your spouse. So we've got to watch and pray. We've got to resolve any issue. We've got to resolve any misunderstanding as quick as possible. Don't leave it to tomorrow. Discuss it right now and let go 
of every the hurt, the offense that, uh, the, 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 that is going on within you. And so many times we do not want to let go of this stuff because of pride, really. So the more you humble yourself, because when you spend time with God, sometimes when I have any misunderstanding, if I have any misunderstanding with my spouse, the one thing I'm also thinking about, oh, I've got to go to the presence of God and spend time with God. How am I going to do that? My heart, my heart is not right. No wonder the Bible says something. If you want to come to me and pray, he said, whatever you did, he said, leave whatever you have. He said, go and resolve that conflict first. Then you can come back and spend time in the presence of God. 